All right, I got my Quantum Nova apart. I just swapped out a motor. And um, I kind of wanted to be able to do the auto-tune, which requires you to be in altitude hold and um, be able to dial a switch or have an extra switch. And on the stock radio, there is no way of, of using any switches um, to accomplish this. So you have to use the channel the uh, they call it AUX2 and that I have hooked up um, right here on, on the receiver this is the signal for AUX2 channel 2 well let's just call it yeah AUX2 and it runs all the way down to the bottom um, and onto this board And on this port, I've made a, I took a servo lead and I only plugged in the signal wire and I popped that in and then I got a hole in the body. I actually got several of them to run wires in and out, but um, I just popped the wire up through the hole and it runs in here and on that flight board see that there's one pin available which would be the corresponding pin to channel 4 um, the way they've done it here so you hook up that single signal wire to to that last pin and again the wire runs straight down there so I can just unplug it and stuff it in the hole and then I can put it on my gimbal without having to take my whole uh, quad apart so I got it hooked up to Mission Planner and let me show you what goes on. So this will be channel 8 and let's see, yeah, 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 my transmitter is on. So that wants me to calibrate. And of course that's not working now. Uh, I wonder why. All right, let me turn everything off and turn it on again. Battery out. Remember to disconnect in Mission Planner. On my computer, if I don't disconnect, I have to use another USB port. And before you know it, you've run out of, I've run out of USB ports. Unplug the USB, plug it in again. To get rid of the beeping, you have to plug in a battery. There we go. So now that shut up. So now we gotta hit connect on Mission Planner. Bad compass, help. Yeah, come on. And now you can see I got throttle, all the regular stuff, and on channel eight. Presto. It is now on this button. All right. And so if you go move on to config and tuning, you got your extended tuning and on channel eight, you got all these options you can set. And, um, you would simply find auto tune. Where is it hiding? There it is. 
And so when you turn the dial on the radio, you have to turn it all the way up and the uh, quad will go into auto-tune mode. Remember to write the parameters. Well, that's all I wanted to show you, so uh, thanks for watching.